Hi, I'm Kate Keller. I'm the coordinator of the Missoula Community Co-op, which is a member-owned and operated food co-op on Missoula's west side at 1500 Burn Street. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of the development of the co-op. Um, in 1997, the, um, there was a neighborhood survey conducted which uh, indicated that the neighborhood of the west side and north side of Missoula was interested in uh, having more accessible from their homes um, gr a grocery store. Um, and then in, in, as that vision developed, it became more and more apparent that people were actually truly interested in a food cooperative, which was, had been talked about on a number of different occasions throughout the years in Missoula's um, food world. In 2003 and 2004, a community food assessment was um, done, which indicated that more local growers would like access to commercial markets, um, and also that more people would like to be able to ac access local foods. From this, um, and, a buy and from a buying club that started on the north side in 2001, the, um, this vision grew. Um, the, in 2004 and 2005, the North Missoula Community Development Corporation took this little buying club under its wing and began the research of finding a model, a cooperative model that would meet all of the needs that were addressed in the, or that were indicated in the community foods assessment. This, um, this process required years of research and um, grants from the USDA, grants from the Montana Department of Agriculture, and grants from the Kaplan Campaign for Human Development helped fund salaries that would uh, ultimately pull all of the research together for the model that we were going to use. And that model is of a truly member-owned and operated food cooperative. Members um, are members fulfill three-hour work requirements in the store to keep our prices as low as possible. Um, and that, um, memberships are, yeah, memberships are individual. We do not have family memberships. Uh, each, and the idea behind that is that each member is required to contribute equally to both the operations of the store and um, monetarily. Membership is $125, and that can be paid in um, $10 increments monthly. Or um, we do have subsidized memberships that can be applied for. Um, income eligible app applicants may receive um, the opportunity to have a free membership, depending on their income. Um, also, anyone who qualifies for any federal assistance programs uh, qualifies for a reduced membership of $15. Working in the store is that everyone has both the opportunity to voice their concerns about, and their interests and in what they see on the shelves, and um, also uh, an awareness of the day-to-day -day workings of the store so that they're more informed about what we're carrying, why we're carrying it, and where it's coming from. This model is based off a model in Park Slope, Brooklyn, which is the Park Slope Food Co-op established in 1973, which has been operating as a member-owned and operated food cooperative since then. Um, it is one of the most successful cooperatives in, in the sense that um, its prices actually are the lowest of anywhere in its area. And taking this model, we, the working model, the working member model that Park Slope has um, established and refined over the years has uh, created opportunities for its members to get the lowest prices on everything that is available in the store. Um, and the lowest prices of anywhere in Park Slope. Um, 
uh, and we are fully confident that this is going to work for us. The idea is that everyone who is a member of the cooperative receives the same amount of benefit from the cooperative and um, contributes the same amount of labor to the cooperative. So the as a member, when you walk into the store and you see that the macaroni and cheese is $2.13, you know exactly how much it's marked up and you know why. You know where the money is going, you know that it's going to overhead and to minimal staffing, you know that um, you're getting the best price you can possibly get. And over time, as the co-op, um, as our members shop more and more, as we're able to expand our selection, that volume will ultimately bring our prices down. Um, this summer is really exciting because we're going to be establishing a cooler in our receiving space, right over here, and the um, and we'll be supplying a huge variety of local produce. Working with the Western Montana Growers Co-op, um, with the Clark Fork Organics Lifeline, Common Ground and a variety of other farmers as well as um, good eggs from Moise, um, Lifeline, Invictor, um, and Montana Buffalo Gals Bison in Dixon. Um, also in the store you'll find a good variety of grocery items, um, bulk foods, whole foods, um, um, green cling products, health and beauty items. Uh, after over a year of being in this in this location, we've opened our doors and are um, operating our small storefront as of January of 2008. And in the store, you'll find everything from health and beauty products to um, green cleaning products to Gro standard grocery, staple grocery items to bulk, whole foods, snacks. Um, we have eggs and dairy, milk um, and cheese, a variety of frozen fruits and vegetables as well as frozen meat. Um, some of our local providers are um, Lifeline Farm, which provides cheese, the other Lifeline Farm, which provides produce, um, Good Eggs from Moise, Common Ground Farm up in Arlene, Clark Fork Organics here in Missoula, the Western Mont Montana Growers Co-op, which is a cooperative of, I believe, 18 farmers. And um, over the course of the summertime, we'll be expanding our selection of produce um, which will be kind of a kind of a keystone event in our in our development because we'll be able to provide a, a full selection of groceries to our members. I'm sitting in front of a mural being painted by um, collaboratively um, Rachel Simons and um, Summer Nelson, and um, this mural was kind of a the brainchild of Rachel Simons initially, um, as we talked about it over in the building of the North Missoula Community Development Corporation, we decided there was a need for public art in this area of town. And um, as part of a greater neighborhood revitalization project, we're really looking forward to putting the mural up on the wall um, sometime in September. It'll be on the west facing wall um, in front of the food co-op. With, with the working member model, we have the um, opportunity to engage all of the skills and, and resources of our entire membership in what they're best at. So whether it be breaking down bulk in the back room or cashiering or designing flyers or doing marketing or tabling at a farmer's market or talking to other members or providing childcare, there is an opportunity for all of our members to contribute to the whole of the co-op by um, lending their time.
the part of the mission of any co-op really is to create a better living condition for its members. And we hope that not only will we be um, not only will we be responsive to the desires of our members, but we'll be responsive to the desires of the community and have, um, through the labor of our members, have a, an impact on the community that is positive and informative. These shirts are for sale! <laughs> <laughs> the t-shirts that are used, that we're uh, selling to members to promote the co-op were designed by Zoo City Apparel and we'll be getting into other co-op merchandise as the summer wears on. Part of what's really moving to me about co-ops is that they originally and historically have been established to as sort of mutual benefit organizations that in which members of the cooperative have come together, whether it be around their work environment or whether it be around their food or whether it be around their housing, to use one another as a resource to make their lives better. And that is what this model is all about. That's what this co-op is all about. It's an equation that adds up to more than the sum of its parts. Like you can't, um, oh, that um, as a member you can walk in the store and voice your opinion on anything that we carry on the shelves or suggest a product that you'd like to see on the shelves. You can walk into a, you can come into a board meeting and um, hear what the board has to say. You can join a committee and be instrumental in moving forward the policies of the co-op. Um, as, as a member, it's your, that's your right and um, your privilege and your and um, your obligation, really, and so uh, that um, that feels really good to me because it, it's a tangible manifestation of democracy, sort of unadulterated democracy, because it's set on such a small scale. Um, like the mural was this was an idea of one of our members, and it, and it will manifest into a beautiful public art piece. Um, we hope to see these kinds of ideas play themselves out in other areas as well. We're hoping to provide another market for small growers, and we're looking forward, and producers, we're looking forward to um, we're looking forward to working with small value-added producers like Totally Organic Tofu and Free Range Hummus. Um, um, I can think of several more that are popping into my head, but um, wanting to be able to get their products on the shelves and wanting to, pr wanting to be here re representing how much of a demand there is for local agriculture and locally produced products because ultimately it's going to be the, the least amount of negative impact on the planet and um, the most positive for our economy. And uh, ultimately that kind of cycle um, is going to be what truly makes Missoula a sustainable place.